Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Susie and this is my mom. Say hey mom. Hey. And we are very excited to give you a tour of her tiny house today. About four years ago when my mom said she was gonna buy a repossessed shed and turn it into a tiny home, I thought she was either joking or crazy, but here she's done it and it's turned out great and she's really happy here and I am very happy to give you guys a tour today. I am going to quickly show you the outside because it is cold out here and then after I show you each space in the house, I'll do a photo montage of like kind of how it got there and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, this is the outside, and that house down there was my house before I moved in with Heath, and now my daughter and son-in-law live there. Mom did all this herself, except for I think she had this porch built, and we'll go over some of the other things on the inside. And this is the back porch. And she built that storage room. It's got her tools and stuff like that in there. Everything's not complete out here. She want to be, be sure and tell you guys that. There's still a little area up there that hasn't been painted yet. I probably need to get up here and help her with that. Let's check out the inside. Okay, this is the main living area. Anything you want to say about this room, Mom? Well, I just want to explain about the steps. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to talk about them. Okay. And yeah. I'll show them some pictures okay. too, right. how they can move. Yeah, um, they're locked down with the wheels locked down and then there's a latch at the top and you unlock the wheels and undo the latch and it rolls over to this other loft. Okay, so this loft up here is kind of like the boys' room right. and then the other loft over here, which are they the same size? Are the yes. lofts the same size? Uh -huh. I always thought that one was a little bit bigger. 12 but foot, okay. both 12 foot. Okay. Because it goes all the way over the porch. Yeah, and that one is storage. So she doesn't get up there as much where this one is used all the time. So the stairs stay here. And she's got some storage area back here. Yeah, Jake, uh, my oldest grandson is staying with me right now. So that's his clothing. And yep, see she's already got all this uh, storage space here in behind the steps. And these are the steps that unlock and move. There's the graduation wall. Let's show y'all high school picture of me. Check out the hair. <laughs> okay, so that is the main living area. Also, the couch makes into a futon full-size bed. Yes. And, and these she, are storage cubes. Can never have enough storage in a tiny house because I've got a toy box and a 
extra clothing for the boys when they're here to go out and play and have. And this is Anderson's baby stuff because mom keeps Anderson two or three days a week. So lots of baby paraphernalia. And she does not, uh, she has window air conditioning and electric heat. She has a couple of fireplaces. I'll show you both of them. area and when you come in and you turn to the left that is the kitchen and the dining area which will move when I don't have baby paraphernalia yeah a lot of times she has the table over here but I kind of like it right there yeah I do too it's off a little bit but I don't care I'm off a little bit too and mom did all of this by herself cabinets countertops backsplash um, she, you hired somebody to do the drywall and the electrical yes. and what Plus, else? And plumbing. Roughed in plumbing and roughed in electrical. Uh -huh. I hooked everything up right? because I wanted to know how to do it. And yeah. they showed me how to do it. But Jake helped some with the cabinets. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandson is staying with me. And then Allison helped me with the backsplash. Yeah. But I, I'm not done. I still like a lot of trim work to go and, um, but time, you know, all I got anyway, so. But she has full size appliances in here. And then I have a pantry yep. that I ordered everything from Home Depot. And um, then I have the drawers, which I love because they're very accessible. And then all my pots and pans are down here. And then I have dishes in here and dishes in here. Now I'm going to also um, put open shelving right here uh, to the wall here so I can display plants and things like that. She has a dishwasher. I have a built-in garbage and then another drawer for uh, utensils. And then the sink, I'm gonna do a full-size sink, but at the time when I started this, I just went with a bar type sink because I didn't know how much room I was gonna have, so. You definitely have room for a full-size sink. Exactly. Yes. And it won't be long. I'm just, you know, waiting to find one that I really love. And these are like, these are like a faux butcher block or is this actual butcher no, block? No, it's actual butcher. Okay. It's actually uh, yeah. wood, solid wood. And she stained it a dark stain it's and sealed a, it in. Um, not a gloss finish, but a, mm -hmm. and at the time I didn't really know what I were doing. Messy. It's fine. The backsplash, is messy. the backsplash is peel and stick, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I think I got it from Home Depot. The kitchen is the way it's laid out is plenty big enough for two or three people to be in here, but not move around a whole lot. Right. She right. did have a large fridge, exactly. but decided she did not need a large fridge and needed more counter space, so she got a smaller fridge and i'm gonna have to redo my counter here because the refrigerator came to here yeah and i got to get me another cabinet right because of the smaller mid-size refrigerator plus i got more daylight through that window that i hated that i had lost the daylight through there uh remind me on the floors are they the tile They're peel and stick peel and stick mm -hmm. vinyl yes okay mm -hmm. yeah we're she did a really good job on them well, are they coming up anywhere? It's been what two no, years not or so. Up. Now I didn't do. I, by the time I got to the bedroom, I didn't do as good a job cutting the links. Mm -hmm. So I've got some cracks in there, but I have extra floor, and all you have to do is peel it up, put down, you know, whatever. moving I'm gonna show you guys the loft real quick these are the steps they're narrow but plenty enough room and you can't really stand up in here and this is mostly game room for the grandsons there's the oldest one right there he's actually full-size grown man now 
And uh, me and Allison did these floors up here and we had enough left over that we just went up that back wall with it. And uh, we didn't plan on doing that, but it turned out pretty good. So yeah, that is the loft. storage loft up there and my pretty mama. <laughs> all right. Moving on to the bedroom. Now remember this was just one open shell and she had all these, put up all these walls, framed these walls in and everything. You're going to show the before pictures anyway. Yes. I'll show y'all before. She has not painted the paneling in here. This is the paneling, right? That we, that you bought. We like, she liked the look of it. And that's the back door, which was not here at all. No, I put that in. Yep. And the windows in the living room weren't in either. Right. And she did have a single bed in here, but she just recently got a full-size bed. And she does have risers uh, to raise it up, son. She just has not got to that yet. I had to build me a little tiny I was going to say, you must have built you a little, uh, a little tiny, tiny, tiny nightstand. Yeah. So she can still get her door open, but have her lamp and place to put the phone and such. Still some trim work to do in here as well. Yeah. And this is her closet. Do you want to show the inside of the closet? Uh, it's, it, like, I'm not done in here, so yeah. this is not how the This has changed a lot yeah, since, we're, you know, like every, she thinks of something different to do and she does that. So. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put a door on it or, I like the curtains because I have them over the, over there, but. Yeah, I like the curtains. I'm not sure. It's the switch box. Right. I was going to show them there's not actually a window there, mm -hmm. but that works. Yeah. And moving on to the bathroom. There wasn't a door it's here. really not finished. Yes. Really, really, really not finished because... I'm going to put cabinetry over and on top of the washer dryer and the bottom of the washer dryer. This is a washer dryer combo. She does not, she puts the clothes in, washes them, and then turns it on dryer. Mm -hmm. Do you love this thing? Love it. Still? But, you mm -hmm. know, when you live alone mm -hmm. and you wash a, lo a load a day, mm -hmm. you never, you know, get backed up or anything. But, like you say, it takes a while. It takes a while to dry them, but uh -huh. I don't dry a lot of my clothes anyway. Never have. I hang up a lot of clothes. So. Right. But it'll, it'll look a lot different when I get the cabinet doors on the top and the bottom. Yeah. But for space wise, that worked out yeah. really good. I mean, you could have got a stackable one, but. Yeah, I'd just rather have that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I thought about it for a long time before right. I did it. And this is actually going to be a, is a storage and uh, just some of Jake's hanging up clothes, my vacuum, my hot water heaters in here. Uh, I've built a shelf up above to put my sewing machine and stuff on. And my, you know, Cleaning my, supplies. Exactly. Sewing supplies, and all kinds of supplies. Yeah, but, but you done, know, you've done very changed. well with um, storage solutions in here. Yeah, when you're... <laughs> when you go from 3,000 square foot to, right. well, how many? 475. 475. Space. You know, that's not counting the lofts, but uh, you can't really count them when you're doing floor space. Yeah, see, the bathroom is not finished. The drywall's up, but it's still got to be finished it's, out. It's actually rock that you put tile on, but I'm not sure. I, I oh, you were going to tile the whole bathroom. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. No, and I have a full-size tub. A little too much light coming in there from that. Okay, yeah, there we go. I have a full-size tub, and I built me another little shelf over here to put that on. And you just got a full tub surround for in here. I did. Yeah. Yeah, put that up myself. I actually recalked it the other day because at the bottom, oh, I see, yeah. didn't do a very good job of it. So I redid it and did a better job. <laughs> so. And you built this little shelf, I see. You know what I built it out of, Susan? 
that old shelf that, that was old, falling down that we've had right. for 40 years probably right. just redid it put a front on it and, and it's much more sturdy now yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. A when lot of things will change in here so yes. if I decide what to do with the walls. And this is, is this a, this is like a uh, mini Lowe's. sink? Yeah, yeah from Lowe's. A, it's just a little vanity uh, with a, you know, with a cabinet under it, but uh -huh. it is, I'm, I may go bigger with a bigger vanity and move the shelf, but I don't know. I haven't decided that either. Okay, is this mirror a thrifted mirror? It is one that came out of the Jefferson Title Building in Birmingham when Mitch. Oh yeah, my when y'all were doing demolition. demolition. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which a lot of my stuff came from demolition projects. Okay, so real quick, um, we wanted to give y'all an overview of what she actually has in the house, because I know that a lot of people are doing tiny houses and they're curious. Um, so yeah, how much about do you have in this house and explain what it what it entails? Okay, uh, I have about 40,000 in it. Uh, that it, The house was repossessed, so. The, sh the shell, the, the camp, the so shed. So gonna yeah. show you pictures of it, what it looked like when I got it. It was 8,000 and then the electrical, the whole getting it hooked to the house, uh, everything it took to do it, the guy that did it, it was somewhere around 5,000. That was my biggest expense. What about the septic tank? Septic yeah. tank was about three. I did have a foundation put in it, which was about 3,000. And then my guy did the sheetrock and stuff. Now, you probably haven't counted all the little things you bought either. Well, yeah. you know, I really haven't bought that many. Well, I mean, cabinets and flooring oh, yeah, yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. You did count all that? Uh -huh. It's, it's okay. right around 40000 Maybe just a little over or a little under. Okay. But uh, it's very economical. Mm -hmm. I got my highest electric bill last month, but guess what? It was 20 degrees the whole I mean, you know, for mm -hmm. whatever month it was. Uh, it was $170, and that's my highest one. It's usually around 100 Yeah, in the cold. Yeah, night, and I don't have, you know, payments or anything like that. I am retired, and it's just, I'm very, I've not regretted it one minute since I started it. I was thought, everybody, I know everybody thought I was crazy when I, I told started. Them that. I told them that in the intro, that when you said you were going to uh, shed, convert a shed into a tiny home, that... You were either joking or crazy, but yeah. here we are. <laughs> yeah, we are. We are crazy. But it's it was a. I just lost my husband not too long before that, and uh, it was it was wonderful therapy because it, you know, and it's just been a really good experience, and it's very cozy, and it's very convenient. I'm a piddler, so if I stayed in that big house, I would have piddled myself to death just for no reason. So yeah, I piddle a lot here. But it's, you know, convenient piddling. So. Yeah, it's it's necessary piddling yeah, here. Yeah, sure. There it's sure it's necessary. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, enjoy so, it, y'all. Thank you for letting us tour your home, Mom. You're welcome. See you later. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank y'all so much for watching.